an ambitious yet realistic target to lift the wages of low-income workers in more sectors will be revealed next month. Senior Minister of State for Manpower, Zaki Mohammed, says steps have been taken to expand the progressive wage model to up to 3,000 workers in the waste management sector. While we are developing long-term multi-year strategies for our low-wage workers, it was so important for us to assess you know, how we can expand our progressive wage model as well to cover more workers. So especially in this um, challenging economic climate, it was even more crucial for us to engage employers, the industry, even workers too, as well as the union leaders especially, to see you know, which are the sectors that we could potentially uh, expand in during this short-term period, especially within the next two years. A tripartite group has been formed to implement progressive wages in the waste management sector. It will develop a progression pathway for workers to help them earn better wages and improve their skills. The group comprises waste management providers, buyers, unions and the government. Workers like 56-year-old Aziman bin Tohid will be covered under the government's progressive wage model. His employer, Semwaste, has already adopted a similar training and wage ladder. The model currently covers the security, cleaning and landscaping industries. I think it's uh, good for us, for the low-income uh, workers, because the, it makes us motivate to work, then the salary will increase more when we do our best. Lah.